graceful greetings to our beloved family in Christ. As we embark on day 11 of our spiritual odyssey through the 21 days of prayer, let's reflect on James 5.16. The prayer of a righteous person is powerful and effective. This scripture beautifully underscores the potency of our prayers when offered with sincerity and righteousness. To our treasured Christian community, your heartfelt participation in this spiritual journey is a beacon of dedication and love. Each day, as we unite in prayer, we are not only deepening our bond with our Heavenly Father, but also weaving a tapestry of shared faith and commitment within our community. We warmly invite you to delve into the accompanying videos for each day. These videos, crafted with love and prayerful contemplation, aim to enrich your experience, uplift your spirit, and guide you through our collective prayer themes. Today, our focus is centered on the theme of forgiveness. Forgiveness is a divine gift, a testament to God's boundless mercy and love. As we lift our prayers today, let's seek the grace to forgive and be forgiven, understanding that through forgiveness, we find true freedom and healing. Father, in the quiet moments of reflection, I come before you with a heart weighed down by the burden of my transgressions. Your word reminds us, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness, 1 John 1, 9. Today, I cling to this promise, seeking your mercy and grace. Lord, I confess the times I've strayed from your path, the moments I've chosen my desires over your will, and the instances where pride, anger, or envy clouded my judgment. I've often allowed the world's fleeting pleasures to distract me from the eternal joy found in your embrace. I repent for these moments of weakness and ask for your forgiveness. As David cried out in his psalm, create in me a pure heart, O God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. Psalm 51:10. Let this be the cry of my heart today. Renew me, cleanse me, and restore the joy of your salvation within me. For the pain I've caused others, knowingly or unknowingly, I seek your guidance in making amends. May I be a vessel of your love and grace, extending forgiveness as I seek it. As Jesus taught us, for if you forgive other people when they sin against you, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. Matthew 6, 14. Father, your love for us is immeasurable, a love that saw you send your only Son to bear the weight of our sins. In moments of guilt and shame, let me remember the cross, the ultimate symbol of your forgiveness and love. In him we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins, in accordance with the riches of God's grace. Ephesians 1, 7. As I journey forward, I arm myself with your word, seeking to live a life that reflects your love and grace. I declare that, as far as the east is from the west, so far has he removed our transgressions from us. Psalm 103, 12. This promise is my anchor, a reminder of your infinite mercy and love. In moments of temptation, draw me closer to you. Let your word be my guide, a lamp unto my feet. Your word is a lamp for my feet, a light on my path. Psalm 119, 105. May I always turn to you, seeking guidance, strength, and forgiveness. Today and always, I choose to walk in the freedom of your forgiveness. With every misstep, I see an opportunity to experience your grace in a deeper, more profound way. You are my refuge, my strength, my redeemer. In the face of life's trials and my own shortcomings, I am comforted by the knowledge that your forgiveness is just a prayer away. Father, as I embrace this day and the days to come, I pray for a deeper understanding of your heart for forgiveness. Let me be a beacon of your grace, extending mercy and love to those around me. I commit my journey of forgiveness to you, trusting in your perfect timing, your perfect ways, and your unending love. In the quiet moments when the weight of my sins feels overwhelming, remind me of your presence. Let the whispers of your love envelop me, reassuring me that your forgiveness is mine for the asking. In the bustling chaos of life, let your grace be the still, quiet center that grounds me. I pray for the world, for the many souls seeking forgiveness in places where it seems elusive. May they find you, the true source of mercy and grace. Let nations reconcile, let communities come together in harmony, and let families experience the joy of your forgiveness. Father, in the depths of my soul, I yearn for your embrace, for the assurance that despite my flaws and failures, your love remains unwavering. I am humbled by the 
and deep of your mercy, a mercy that knows no bounds. Each day, I am reminded of the countless times I fall short, yet your grace is ever-present, ready to lift me up and set me on the right path. In the stillness of the night, when regrets and memories of past mistakes haunt me, I find solace in your word, which promises, Though your sins are like scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they are red as crimson, they shall be like wool. Isaiah 118 This assurance fills me with hope and gratitude, knowing that your love is greater than any sin. As I navigate the complexities of life, I am often faced with challenges that test my faith and resolve. In these moments, I am reminded of Peter, who denied you three times, yet was met with forgiveness and love. Like Peter, I too have moments of doubt and fear, but your grace is sufficient and your mercy endures forever. Lord, as I seek to draw closer to you, I pray for a heart that is receptive to your guidance. May I be quick to forgive, just as you have forgiven me. Let the words of the Lord's Prayer be a constant reminder. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Matthew 6:12. In my daily interactions, may I be a reflection of your love and grace, extending forgiveness to those who wrong me, just as you have done for me. Let the words of Colossians 3.13 guide me. Bear with each other and forgive one another. If any of you has a grievance against someone, forgive as the Lord forgave you. Father, as I kneel before you, I am overwhelmed by the magnitude of your love. A love that saw your Son bear the weight of our sins on the cross, offering us redemption and eternal life. I am eternally grateful for this gift and pray that I may live a life that is pleasing to you, always seeking your forgiveness and grace. In the name of Jesus Christ, who paid the ultimate price for our sins, I pray. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, as we conclude today's prayer, I pray that the Lord's boundless mercy washes over you, cleansing your heart and soul. May His forgiveness be the beacon that guides you, especially in moments when guilt and regret weigh heavily upon you. In times of self-doubt, may the grace of His forgiveness renew your spirit, drawing you nearer to His compassionate heart. Remember always that our God is a God of infinite forgiveness, and through Him, we can find redemption and peace beyond our comprehension. If today's prayer touched your heart, I kindly ask you to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. By doing so, you'll be championing this ministry and ensuring that countless others can find solace in these prayers. Moreover, if you know someone, a friend or a relative, who seeks a prayer for forgiveness, please share this video with them. Let's extend the hope and strength of prayer to as many souls as we can. And in the comments below, please mention the name of a friend or relative who you believe is in search of forgiveness and healing. As a united community, we will raise them up in our heartfelt prayers. Lastly, I invite you to continue this spiritual journey with us by watching the next video, Prayer for Joy. Let's draw closer to our Savior with each prayer. God bless you all and see you in the next video.